Right, hello again. We're gonna give this another go. Um, so welcome everyone. Hopefully some people will join again, but I'm going to be joined by Camilla from My Parenting Solutions. Um, so we're gonna have a little bit of a chat about um, challenging behavior. As we know, all of our little ones um, can kind of push us to the limit um, So <laughs> at times. So Camilla hopefully is gonna give us um, a little bit of advice. So here we go. Yeah, this should work this time. Fingers crossed. She will pop up and then we can roll into it. Uh, it Yay! Okay, all right. <laughs> it's working. Perfect. Good. Oh dear, I feel really hot and bothered now. There's nothing worse than tech not working. I know. And Monday morning always happens, right? So yeah, exactly. anyway, you were here and actually okay. only like five minutes after we said that we exactly. were going anyway. Exactly. I think people understand that yes. um, tech goes wrong. <laughs> yeah. How are you doing? I am very good, thank you. Yeah, I had I, I had a lot of people about um, I think a hundred people on a, a webinar I was doing last night, oh, wow. um, and it was just it was so great. I got so many questions, and and that was just yeah, it was really exciting. It was all about managing challenging behaviour. So um, I'm pumped up for today. Good. Um, from your yes. Questions. Well, we've got quite a few questions to get through, but firstly, do you yeah. want to kind of introduce yourself a little bit? And Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. And okay. Then we can get into the questions. Okay. Great. So I'm Camilla McGill. Uh, I run My Parenting Solutions. I have been working with parents for 20 years. I absolutely love uh, the job that I do. Um, and I also have four children who are really quite grown up now. So they're 16, between 16 and 23. Um, so you have four children. <laughs> So everything I do is based on, on research, study, um, and also personal experience. I'm working with parents because I learn an awful lot from parents. And um, I have, actually Wednesday night this week, I have another webinar like the one I did last night. So anybody could go to my bio and um, request to um, register for that. Yeah. Uh, and I've also got on my website, myparentingsolutions.com, I've got some really nice free booklets that parents find really useful. So I tend to hone in on the two areas of, of posh training and also on managing this challenging behavior because I think it's something parents find so difficult. The thing I say all the time is, you know, how many years, Stephanie, did you train to be a GP? Seven? Yeah, so medical school plus GP yeah. training, that's nine years. Actually. Right. Yeah, nine okay. years. Any other job? we get whether it's a year, six months, nine years training. But parenting, we get help with the birth, we get help with the breastfeeding, maybe a little bit about weaning. Yeah. And then I think so many parents expect to know what to do. Uh, each child comes with their own temperament. And you might find that you've got one who is really quite easy to handle. I mean, this is, you know, you, you think, oh, I've got this. <laughs> and then another one comes along, or that child changes. Yeah, uh, because they go through stages of development, and yeah. then you think, help. Yeah, and you know, and and, and I just say, you know, the, to learn about parenting, um, and whether you learn through books or through training courses, uh, or through one-to-one -one consultations, uh, give it to yourself because don't expect to know how to manage it. So that's my big thing, um, and don't beat yourself up because it isn't about being perfect. And I, I love your page because you know you talk about the imperfections of of life. Um, and I think sometimes our stress comes from expecting them to behave well all the time and they, they won't, you know. Yeah. So I just that give you enough of an intro there. Yes, it is. And I'm like yes. nodding away because I completely agree. I think that, like you said, that parenting, it doesn't come with a manual. No. There is no textbook or anything that can prepare you for it. And yes. you're just kind of thrown winging. into it. Yeah. And it's winging it, basically. Yeah. And I think that that is that's that's very normal um but it's nice to uh, you know maybe when we hear the principles the kind of advice that you've got maybe it's something that we've heard before but sometimes i think when you're in the situation when you're in the thick of it the kind of and especially at the moment every day is quite repetitive yes, it's, it's yeah. really difficult um it's this really, lockdown really is really definitely hard. harder yeah. than I think so. Really um, hard. Then yeah. that just adds another layer of it does uh, like exhaustion stress yeah. as well so yeah. Yes, yes, I think definitely. And I've definitely uh, heard much more from parents about 
you know, really challenging behaviour that they weren't experiencing before. And I, yeah. I'm sure it's it's triggered by what's yeah. happening in the world. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Exactly. And we're all kind of mm. living on top of each other a little bit. Totally. You know, and no outlet, nothing fun. Yes, yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Stay Just kind of taking an hour to leave the house and then going yes. out and getting cold and yeah. from being a bit miserable and then having to come back again. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> same old, same old. Nothing yeah. different to do. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, let's get into the questions because there are um, a few ones that we wanted to get through. Um, we're going to aim for about half an hour. Um, yeah. So hopefully um, people can stick around for that. So the first question was um, a four and a half year old um, gets quite angry at their younger sister. Yes. And kind of seems to kind of attack her quite viciously. Yes. That's what the question said yes. whilst yes. playing. What kind yes. of yeah advice would you have for that um one thing that i would say is i don't know the diff the age difference between these two but um you know a four and a half year old will, will have reached a stage of development where they're really kind of intent on their play they've got a plan with it uh they know what it is that they want to do and a younger sis sister or sibling um will really interfere with that now the thing to know <laughs> about children is that um they're very impulsive. They have big reactions to things and they're very driven by their feelings. So they find it really difficult to sort of stop and get perspective and think, I need to be nice to my sister or she doesn't mean to interrupt my play. Yeah. They're in the moment, they're thinking, yeah, right, I've got the blinkers on, don't they? They've got the blinkers <laughs> on. I'm going to do this, this and this. And then a long, a long comes sibling um, and knocks it all over. Yeah. or just interferes so it's not it, it's totally normal that they would have that big reaction um i'd say two things um one is that um the minute you start taking sides and blaming the one that's lashed out entirely um that gives the other one uh, it lets them off the hook and it also kind of pits them against each other um the younger one will have been very carefully observing what happens and so they will try and poke to get a reaction and also they're inquisitive they want to join in that game because it looks more fun you know the older siblings clever at doing stuff so so you've just got to be really careful not to always criticize and come down hard on the the hitter and let the other one um sort of get away with it because they'll be crying and need comfort um so you kind of need to manage the game perhaps a little bit beforehand um if the older one is really interested in a game that they want to play on their own perhaps you can raise it up a level um or you can you know engage the younger one in something different um but i would always say as much as you can try to just validate the difficulties that both have rather than leaping in and criticizing. And you can also train children. I mean, this takes time, but you, you can work with them to help them to manage their, their overreactions. That also slightly comes uh, down to temperament. So you might, the older might have a very reactive temperament, yeah. which means like good and bad, you know, they'll be like, Why? so excited the fact that they're gonna have a hot chocolate. Yeah. Um, but they will equally be, furious that their sibling has you know messed up their game yeah yeah okay all right so kind of giving to giving time to each one yeah. you say, like kind of even like stating what's happened like yes you're upset that your little sister yes. has interrupted your game and just kind Absolutely. of acknowledging that as well and then very much you're good at it <laughs> no very much yeah no, no acknowledging point. what's going on um, because yeah. that helps them to understand that they're not a bad boy. They're not a yeah. bad older sibling. They're just incredibly frustrated by their younger sibling. Yeah, I think that's what um, we've noticed is helpful as well as kind of, um, yeah, is understanding that it's frustration, isn't it? Yes. And kind of yes. helping them yes. understand what it is that they're feeling because sometimes yeah. the yeah. emotion can be quite big. Yes. It's too big for them to handle. In a Absolutely. Way. And that's when you get these big outbursts when, and the yeah. emotion overtakes them. I mean, it's, a, it's you know, I'm sure you know, it's that sort of neurological response. It's that amygdala alarm going off. Yes. It's this huge trigger. And at that yeah. point, no amount of you need to be kind to your sister will reach them because yeah. they're gone. It's, you know, it's literally like a massive alarm bell going for yeah. them. Okay. All right. 
Brilliant. Okay. Well, then let's go on to the second one. And this one um, was a four-year-old who has started shouting when they want something or when they're being told off. Yeah. Um, what, can we, <laughs> what can we do there? I've definitely experienced that one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the again, the shouting is that overreaction thing. Yeah. So uh, it gets a reaction from us. It gets them noticed. Uh, it's quick. Because, um, you know, it might be that they may have given an indication that they didn't like something or didn't want to do something and we haven't noticed. Uh, and, and, and it won't be at a conscious level that they'll be suddenly like, you know, shouting gets me noticed. Um, so, I mean, definitely don't shout back. It's really, really tempting to shout back. Uh, know that, again, it's that alarm bell going off. Um, know that, I mean, I was talking about this in, in this, the masterclass I was doing last night. And honestly, if anyone wants to come on Wednesday night, you, you get some great insights. Who it's likes free being, as well, isn't it's it? It's free. free. Yes, totally free on yeah. my website uh, or on my bio. Um, do follow me, uh, guys, because there's, you know, there's, uh, I put out loads of stuff. Um, uh, now, where was I saying? Oh, uh, I was talking about last night. Yeah, who, you know, if we stand, one of the big things I talk about is standing in their shoes. If you've done something that your husband or your partner or, you know, somebody didn't like, who likes being told off? Yeah, yeah. I know. <laughs> Nobody yeah. like, you know, who yeah. likes being told off? Of course, our duty to our children is that we're wiser. We've got to guide them. We definitely need firm boundaries and, and sometimes tough love. Sometimes just, you know, we've got to risk our children saying, I hate you, or, you know, you're not my friend, and we're not their friend. Um, we absolutely need to guide them, but it's sort of how we do it. Yeah. And it is a skill, you know, this is why I talk about the fact that we need to learn this. It is a skill because it doesn't come naturally to us. It comes naturally to us to notice the negative. Yeah. Um, so, they're not going to like being told off, which is why they will shout back. Yeah. They've got to figure out a way of having them stop the behavior that we're doing and whether that might be by intervening ahead of time or having some systems to help um, without making it them feel upset. I mean, sometimes the shouting back is through fear, actually, mm -hmm. because, you know, it triggers a fear response for them. Um, and and that's why they will shout. Sometimes they'll put their hands over their ears, and that's really them telling us, you know, you telling me off doesn't work. But yeah. it's about adjusting your language. And again, you know, it's a language that that can be learned. Um, but it, but that is one of the reasons. Another reason I would say is quite quite often um, they will shout. And we actually might do pay attention and do what they've asked. So okay. we've got, you know, so they might say, I don't want my shoes on. And you go, okay, okay, calm down. Uh, you know, I'll take your shoes off. But what we need to do is say, whoa, just a minute. I can't hear that voice. Yeah. That's not a voice you would use for your teacher at school. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you need to say that to me in a calm voice. It's yeah. what I call an action replay. So yeah. that can help. Yeah. Um, but, you know, like I say, sometimes that scream will actually, because we're fed up, we're in a hurry, will yeah. actually do what yeah. they want. Yeah. Um, and therefore they learn that that works. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's, um, and it's very hard. Like you said, it's a, it's a skill that yeah. we equally, we're kind of both learning together in a yes. way. Because, yeah, your initial reaction is just to kind of, Oh, kind of yeah. like your frustration as well, because you're also frustrated. So you're yes. like expressing your frustrations yes. at each yes. other. So it can be really, really difficult. But, really um, hard. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just kind of, it's trying, isn't it? But also mm -hmm. not, maybe not feeling bad if you have. Yeah, it, absolutely. Because, because that's something that you can acknowledge afterwards as yes. well. And, and, and yeah. talk about it once things have like de-escalated. Totally. I mean, I'm really big on, on saying, uh, apologising. Just yeah. say, you know, I, I, mommy made a mistake. You know, I, I, I over, I mean, my kids, my teenagers will still tell me, you really overreacted there, mommy. Oh, and I'm like, yeah, you're right, <laughs> I did. 
I yeah. did, you know, um, you left the milk out and it went sour and, and I came in to make my tea and I just, yeah. and, uh, and it was an overreaction. You know, I don't want you to leave the milk out, but, but yeah, it's, yeah. So, so it's, it is about, uh, we're human. Yeah. So say, you know, we can, we, we will have these knee jerk reactions, yeah. uh, but, you know, apologizing or trying not to react like that in the first place can help and, and know, learning how to phrase things differently so yeah. that you're still firm, yeah. but, but you're not telling them off. Yeah. I found that the times when I've recognized that I need to take a step back or kind yeah. of use different language, actually using the different language helps me. Yes. I know it helps the little one, but yes. actually it helps me realise this is actually, this is what I need to say to kind yeah. of help both of us through it. Yeah. Um, Totally. Does that make sense? So, yeah, it totally yeah. does. And I think sometimes we feel resentful that, you know, uh, um, part of the reason why we get cross is that in our heads is, you know, they shouldn't be behaving like this. Um, I shouldn't have a child that's uh, overreacting. I'm being taken for a ride. Um, yeah. And, you know, uh, I've got sort of mug written across my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> And, and then we'll often overreact uh, as yeah. a result of those that inner dialogue. But if yeah. we can think, I, my responsibility here is to react in the best way so that they will learn. Um, and I still keep boundaries, um, but I don't antagonize by shouting. Yeah, yeah. Sounds easy. It's not. I know. Well, that's the thing. You're like, all of these things are like, yes, that makes total lot of sense. And then, like I said, when you're in the moment, it can just all fly out the window. Yeah. So it's, yeah, again, it's also, I think, being easy on yourself as yeah. well. Yeah. Realising that it is, um, it's very difficult at the moment, really challenging. Yeah. So. Yeah. It, being know. kind. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, uh, I have a course um, that um, I, 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 I've just released. And, and the first module of the course is all about looking after yourself. Yeah. Because if we don't, you know, it's that, that thing with the oxygen mask that on a plane, they tell you, you've got to put yours on first. Yeah. If we don't, yeah. if we're wearing ourselves thin yeah. and trying to be all things to all people and trying to have, you know, a perfect house, perfect diet, perfect yeah. exercise regime, be a perfect it, We just wear ourselves down. And yeah. so, um, but it is totally about being kind to yourself. Yeah, I agree. I actually had this moment, we're going off on a bit of a tangent now, but I feel like it's kind of relevant because I had this moment the other day where both of the kids were eating and I was kind of rushing around the kitchen trying to like tidy up after yes. cooking. And um, actually my husband came and he was like, why don't you just sit down with them Yeah, and just leave it? And I was like, but I need to tidy up. And he was like, I know. What? And I was like, you, what? He's like, it's okay. You can leave yeah. it. And I was yes. almost like, I needed to be given permission Yes, to kind of, sit down I was like you're right that can wait yeah, but yeah this it's quite nice for them for me you know to yeah. sit down and actually when I did sit down like my yeah my elder she was like oh it's so nice that you're eating with us and yeah. I was like, oh. you well, know that I'm almost just... well it made me feel a bit bad that I hadn't been before yes but, you know again that you have those moments of realization where you're like okay yeah, yeah. that that is the external yeah. stuff which really annoys me and you know when you can see the mess and the oh board, like, my god learning to try and let go of I know it. I know I'm crying <laughs> and, and it's so hard and and just to sort of think about um you know what do our children want more do they care whether yeah. those surfaces yeah. are wiped yeah. clean yeah. or do they care about whether we're sitting with them yeah and I, you know I I get it because I can't stand it you know it, it, like it really grates at me if there's mess around, but I have had to just put my blinkers on and go, yeah. interaction, connection with the kids yeah. is just so yeah. much more important because they don't care. Yes. They're not worried. They don't care okay. whether it's all perfect. No, they don't, don't they? That's mm. why they make the mess. They don't care. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> they don't care. Um, okay, great. Right, so next question was, um, I guess, well, kind of similar, there's a three-year-old who's crying, who's not getting, if they're not getting their own way, is that, um, they've tried ignoring it, they've tried kind of yeah. using. Somebody was trying to phone me at the same oh. time. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I was like, go away. Um, <laughs> not getting their own way. Yeah, I mean, part of it is about managing our expectation. Three-year-olds are egocentric. 
so are teenagers. They want <laughs> life. You know, there, there's a quite a big similarity, and and it, and it. It, it, it presses our buttons because, you know, part of our responsibility as parents is to um, raise children who are uh, not selfish and demanding and, um, you know, little emperors. So, so um, of course, we want them to uh, understand that life doesn't all revolve around them and they can't dictate uh, absolutely everything we do. Um, but, but come from a place that it's normal for a three-year-old to want their own way. And then when we do that, uh, we can be much more empathetic to them. Yeah. Because um, to just to think, yeah, you know, um, it's not surprising. Yeah. Um, but so we can do a few things. I mean, uh, partly it's sort of um, managing something so that you know, if they have been a little bit flexible and not had their own way over something, we can mention and praise that because yeah. you get more of what you focus on. Yeah. So say, you know, they've said, um, I want to play Lego now or, you know, play dollies now. And, and you say, um, I, you know, right now I've got to sort the baby out and, um, and put her down for a nap, but I will come back to you as soon as that's done. And if they accept that, which occasionally they will, yeah. um, then you say, that was so great. You waited, you yeah. couldn't get what you wanted, but you waited. Um, yeah. It's really surprising how much impact noticing and mentioning the things that they are doing right will have. Yeah. Um, so that's one little trick. Um, another one is just adding in the empathy you know, when it's also trying to catch them as it's building up. So, yeah. you, you know, try and get it before the, this massive alarm bell is going off yeah. um, so that they're a little bit more able to reason. And at that point, you can say, go in with the empathy first. You can say, I really understand. You would just want it the way you want it. Mm -hmm. um, and you really wish that you could just, you know, play your game right now. Mm -hmm. It's so frustrating, isn't it? Yeah. And when they feel validated yes. and yeah. heard, they're much more likely to sort of calm down. The yeah. other thing is it maybe if it's reached that tantrum -y point, just try to help them through it. Because, yeah. you know, I don't know about you, Stanley, but if I lose it, if I, I really don't like myself. No. You know, I yeah. really, I feel huge, awful. huge guilt afterwards. You definitely. just feel, and but they're the same. Yeah. At that point, when they're losing, it, they don't like themselves, yeah. but they don't know how to stop. Yeah. Um, so that's where the empathy will come in, and rather than looking at this spoiled little child, we're thinking this child needs my help. Yes. Yeah. I. They need my help to calm down, yeah. and when they've calmed down, you know, that's if it's gone over the over the hill. As I yeah. when they've calmed down, then we can look at you know, cat, might ask the question. That's another really good tip, but not when they're right in the middle of it. Yeah. Are you are you always able to get what you want? Yeah. Can you know? Can you you, you saw Mummy was really busy. Um, can we go out right now? And they'll know. They'll say. You know, okay. no, you can't. Yeah. But yeah. it's 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 to, it's developmentally appropriate for them to want life to be revolved around them and to them yeah. to want them to, to like you know to have their own way. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's so. Yeah, that's such a good way of saying it. it it's the reframing, and also I yeah. think something I said to my husband the other day as well. I, was, I kind of had this light bulb moment. Yes. Ago, when you're trying to get out of the door, that's the yeah. kind of. A oh, point as well where a lot of people will um yes. will struggle or if you're in a rush and you're trying to like, yes. get ready to go to nursery yes i said to him i was like actually they don't they don't have a schedule they, no they don't care do no. they? they could do they could stay in their pajamas all day yes. they could play and do all of this they don't they're yes. not looking at the time so yes. i yes. agree that kind of trying to, you're, you're trying to get them to slot into yes. a routine yeah which, totally it's, it's not, not their like agenda no, it's, exactly. it's, it's, it's something I also something I teach you know it's their agenda our agenda yes, and, yes. and we're expecting them to uh, respect our agenda 
They're yeah. three, four, five, you know, you yeah. know what they don't. <laughs> they there don't. is a moment. <laughs> um, yeah. To them, you know, you're late for work, you know. Yeah. It, yeah, they don't know what like, that means. <laughs> uh, they don't know what that means. Um, yeah. So, I mean, I'm not saying it's easy getting kids out the door. It's, it's very hard. I have some systems. So one of the freebies is called my great system for, for, for um avoiding challenging behavior and employing that can be a really good way of managing it so that it's bit it's more successful it won't always be yeah. because life isn't always like that um but it is definitely our agenda their agenda and they are in the moment we're thinking ahead so yeah. when they're playing and we're thinking right well dinner needs to be at five thirty because then they have a bath then they've gone to bed and then I've got rid of them. Yeah. <laughs> and they're thinking, yeah. I want to play or, you know, I want to watch my screen. Yeah. And that's why they'll scream yeah. when we say it's dinner time or they'll yes. run off. Yeah. Yeah. No, do you know what? We've started doing that more like signposting. Yes. Kind of giving like warnings. Yes. Um, which not like, <laughs> not like this is your last warning, but is in. Yeah, no, no, absolutely. Like, you know, in five minutes, five minutes again yeah. does, does she understand the concept of time not necessarily yet but even i guess you know she understands that's what we will that's the the sign that signals yes. we give and yes. sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't but it's yes just trying to trying to be a bit more consistent with that because again i said to my husband if i came along and you were watching football and i just oh. switched off your match i was like <laughs> you would be vivid you would not be happy with me at all so I was like, let's just think of it like that. Yes. She's watching a football game that's really yes. important to her. Yes. It's like, yeah, that's, re that's true, actually. It's really <laughs> true. It's a great point. And the other thing to know is that, uh, that screen match or whatever it is, is very addictive. Yes. So therefore, you're kind of cutting off their drug. Um, yes. So it's even, yeah. it's even harder. Sometimes I'll put alarm, alarms on. Yeah. five minute warning literally an alarm so that that, that they can hear it I even or pause the program and say you've got yeah. five more minutes yeah. that can yeah. that's a really good tip yeah you're right because sometimes they they just don't hear you no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. poor patrol is just you know poor, yeah poor yeah. patrol is addictive <laughs> right okay so maybe we'll do one last one which is um the running off so yeah. there's a four and a half year old who runs off without looking for cars in the room from when they're out despite kind of repeatedly telling him to yes any point um okay so part of this is it also about um mentioning and tr and kind of yeah mentioning when they're doing the right thing so um, what we and, and engaging them. So I would say, you know, hold their hand, uh, walk to the close to the edge of the pavement. And as you're walking, say, you need to tell me what's safe so that you're kind of engaging them. And then when if they, you know, I'm, I used to use, you know, how there's the kind of bricks if you're in, a, in the city nearing the edge. So yeah. this side of the bricks is the safe bit. Okay. Um, so you need to tell me uh, when, where it is that we need to stop. Right. And you're much more like, so then they're a bit more, uh, it's a part of it. Yeah. Um, rather than this sort of push pull between us. Yeah. Um, and you can hold, you hold my hand. Um, we, you know, we, where do we stop? We stop at the edge of the bricks. Tell me if it's safe. Yeah. Is it safe? Is it clear? Okay, we can go across. You can let go of my hand when we're perhaps close to, you know, in the park. Yeah. So again, it's slightly about that signposting yeah. when they can and when they can't. Yeah. Because what's happening often is that we're over, they feel trapped. They feel like we're never going to be free of you. I'm never going to be free of you. Um, and we're often like slightly overreacting, holding the hand that bit too tight because we're worried about the anticipation. But yeah. teaching them road safety is much more effective than telling them off when they're not being safe okay so kind of yeah giving them a bit of responsibility giving them a little bit of responsibility yeah. you take tell me and also kind of um a, a, a good consequence like you safely hold my hand as we cross the road and then when we get to the park you can run 
Okay. Um, yeah. But if they don't, you know, perhaps there's a little bit more, then you've got, no, then we, I hold your hand until we've gone right into the park. That's uh, the consequence if they w are struggling or trying to pull away. So, yeah. you know, kind of positive consequences and negative consequences they may still have to hold your hand a bit longer than they want to if yeah. they've tried to pull away yeah that is very very helpful actually it's a nice way of kind of yeah looking looking at it and kind of approaching it mm. um great maybe actually we do have time for one more um which is um because i think a lot of people again will be able to kind of resonate with this one so two-year-old um they've noticed that um they've whine and moan a lot yeah. what would you say is the best response do you acknowledge their need or kind of what they're saying or do you ignore i'd say it's a bit of everything um i've done a few reels about this so people should have a look on my reels oh, okay. uh, that yeah. they find quite funny um <laughs> so i do these reels about three three ways to address yes. it yeah um sometimes it's a question of completely trying to change their their focus mm -hmm. so you know coming in and saying something like i forgot to tell you something that can be quite a good to sort of snap them out sometimes the you know the acknowledging i know you feel really upset it's really yeah. hard and sometimes it might be to say i just can't hear you when you use that tone of voice yeah. um a bit like we were saying with the you know we need to rewind there if they shout yeah. i would do that with the whining you know when you use that tone of voice it it like it's like a saw in my head mm -hmm. um and um I <laughs> which is which is not too far it is, it's like <laughs> um and i just can't listen to it yeah. so you can you know you just i'm gonna you can even get a a, a remote pretend remote control you go i'm gonna rewind and you can ask me and so you know other times it might be also you might be able to think about you know they Maybe they've been trapped inside a bit too long. Maybe they need to do some star jumps or, yes. you know, some form of physical activity. Yes. Uh, and that can kind of snap them out of that. Um, so, but it, there is, an, an, and sometimes we need to walk away, <laughs> go into another room because it is that it's a deep breath. Yeah, because yeah, it is the most annoying noise. Yeah, yeah. I think that's um yeah, that's a good one as well. <laughs> like to have is a like a plan B, right? Just yeah. if you're trying things and if it's not working, yes. Sometimes yeah, it's removing yourself from the situation, isn't it? Because that's again, I'm sure we've all had those moments where you don't remove yourself and then And you get caught. Yeah, you get you caught get... up in it and yeah. then yeah. yeah, and then you get frustrated. Yeah. And, it, and then you, know, you do things you don't want to do. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, great. Well, those are kind of all the questions, and I think they kind of covered quite a nice range of things. We, I'm sure we have people... covered a, quite a few things. Yeah. So just to say, um, do follow me, uh, My Parenting Solutions. Yes. Um, have a look at my website, uh, myparentingsolutions.com, or my bio. Uh, lots of free resources. Wednesday evening at 8 p.m., there's a webinar uh, How to uh, The Secrets to Managing Tantrums, Meltdowns, and Misbehavior. Uh, and um, uh, and thank you so much, Stephanie. It's it's I yeah, love chatting to you. You're welcome. Yeah, no, it's always um, very insightful, and I think it's um, yeah, definitely give Camilla a follow because she's got lots of kind of good little like digestible nuggets of uh, like and tips. Um, and I think it's nice to kind of go through um, what we should be aiming for, yeah. reframing, but also understanding that we are all going the through human. the same thing. And it's yeah. not, you know, it's not just your child, everyone no. going through the cha similar challenges as well. So I think just knowing yeah. that you aren't alone. Yeah, and yeah. Trying to arm yourself with those skills, but also it's okay if it doesn't go well. Don't get it all right. Time yeah. well, because again, that is normal. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for your time as well. Brilliant. And I hope that you all have a good day. Um, I'm going to save this on my IGTV as well. So if anyone kind of has come in at the end but wants to see what happened at the beginning, you can go back and rewatch it as well. Great. Thanks, Stephanie. Great. Thanks so much. See you. Take Bye. care. Bye.